did it all begin for Nicki Minaj? Where it all began, it first began in Trinidad and then Southside Jamaica, Queens, New York City. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I've been everywhere since. <laughs> but I would say it began in New York officially. Yeah. So how did you get affiliated with the Young Money Entertainment crew? Um, just, you know, doing underground stuff, mixtapes and DVDs. And um, Lil Wayne reached out, you know, he was just starting Young Money. Wow. And of course, I would not turn down that opportunity. So. Now, you're around so many, you're the only lady in this huge stable. You've mm -hmm. collaborated with these big dogs, Jay-Z, Kanye, Drake, Wayne. How does it feel for you to be that powerful? Oh my God, if, it just, it feels exciting. I mean, I'm proud yeah. as a woman, I'm proud just to show that women can do this. We can be, um, you know, um, kind of like in the upper echelon, mm -hmm. you know, of, of hip hop and we can hold our own, you know. I think that's really what that shows. People reach out to me knowing that, you know, they don't have to write the rap for me and then ask me to recite it. Mm -hmm. they, they, you know, they reach out for me to write it and put my own spin and my own creativity on it. So I'm just proud of myself, but I'm proud of women in general, you know, and, and that's what it, it feels like. It just feels like this is my moment for mm -hmm. life. You know, I want to really um, savor this moment. Speaking of moment of, for life, you are recording your video for moment for life today. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. Well, um, it features Drake, you know, uh, and it's a, it's a record that people seem to gravitate to and mm -hmm. um, it really is very sentimental to me. So um, we decided to, you know, um, get it popping. We're out here in LA shooting. We have a beautiful mansion shooting in here. Mm -hmm. And um, I think people are gonna really love the video. I wanna know this unique Nikki look and feel. Mm -hmm. How did it come about? It just kind of came about, um, I guess subconsciously. I mean, I, I, I never planned the look or you know any any of the stuff that you know that I'm doing now. Mm -hmm. um, it just comes, I think, a lot of times with boredom. You know, <laughs> most of the times I'm just like, okay, I don't want to wear that hair anymore. I don't want to do that voice anymore. Yeah. You know, and things just switch up like that. Speaking of voices, I want to know about the different alter egos that you bring to your rap game on tracks like Monster, especially which I believe is your dopest verse. Thank you. <laughs> um, well, on Monster, we start off pull up in the Monster Automobile Gangster. That's like regular Nikki, and that's it has like the the soft spoken girl. Um, What's her name? That's Barbie, and um, then it's like. Now this is what you live for. Ah, I'm the one that's Roman, of course, the crazy one. Um, but yeah, all three of them kind of, you know, own that, own that verse. And you know, those are a couple of my alter egos. I just, I just have fun with it. I'm able to drift away into fantasy land and mm -hmm. kind of escape reality. Mm -hmm. And I do that with those characters.